转身，揉丝凹步 ，turn body, brush knee and push forward. From our previous move, we were doing a、um, oblique, nose shot,、uh, brush knee and push forward, which is doing a、uh, nose shot elbow or brush knee and push forward in a、um, southeast direction. We are. We were in a brush knees and push forward in southeast direction. As we finish, we will become、uh, brush knees and push forward in、uh, facing northwest. So there's a transition. So <coughs> for this video, I'm so I'm doing this way. Seeing more clearly. So, first, my left hand was down, pressing down. My right hand was pushing forward, lunging,、um, saw leg on、uh, left leg,、uh, empty leg on right leg, stretching right leg. Left leg solid, right leg empty, stretching the right leg. Okay, now I'm releasing from stretch and rotate by the front part of my foot and open my hip. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm at the same time I'm sinking my right elbow, so. Uh, and also rotate my right hand, so it was pushing now back into the the guarding position. So at this point, you can you'll be rotating your hip. So now it should point south. Okay. See how my body now facing south, and my left leg, my left toe points southeast. As I release my right leg from stretching and rotate, open the hip, and my right leg will point、um, southwest, still empty, and getting ready for the rotation. We're breaking down the sections. So, I'm opening 45 uh, uh, to to 90 degrees, maintaining this heaviness, rotating by the heel of the left foot. Now, on the on your、uh, right leg, right foot, you were rotating the front part, and Or now on the right leg, you're rotating by the heel. Okay. See how they're closing in together. Okay. At this, for beginners, if you are pointing at the same direction, it's okay. But if you can, try to close your hip more so it can go in more for for、um, for getting ready for rotation. And also at the same time, you see my head hanging. I've done a lot of movements. First,、um, your hands were guarding. Now you rotate. So the palm facing forward. This is getting ready to to the chopping position. And also, you are pressing downward. Now 
bring up is now it, your left hand become your guarding position. So again. Okay. And then, so you'll be, your both hands should be uh, in front of you. Again, wrist at shoulder height. Now this is your left hand is now guarding. Um, your right hand is now ready to chop. So in the original position, facing southeast, okay, opening my hip. Now my body is slightly facing south. My left toe facing southeast, my right toe facing southwest. And then, as I raise my left hand to a guarding position, rotate my right hand to a ready to chop position. Now, my both feet, by both feet now pointing southwest, if possible, close in a little more on your left foot. But if you cannot, then both on west, uh, southwest should be okay. And then, at this point, your left leg is still solid, your right leg is still empty. Lift up your left, uh, right toes and rotate to adjust. So you are then pointing to um, northwest. So okay, notice my my toe. So I rotate, and also this guarding hand, your left hand, stays just like in your in the sofa um, the three the third movement. So. of your right toe is not because of your right toe it is pointing the same direction as your body the right toe um, the right toe is rotating because I'm opening my left hip the left groin so in theory your left body uh, your right part of the body did not move you just follow your left part, uh, the left part of the open. You just chopping, so you were just chopping. So at this point, thumb in front of you. This is cutting on the sides. Now, again, we are opening our left, our right leg, so it becomes one foot apart. And then the rest will be just as, as brush knees and push forward, no shabu. So I do it again in the um, original position. side view so you can see. Okay. I do it again. I'm trying to do it in different angles so you can see, but of course if you're in Sydney, come and learn. In classes it's good for you. So if I go backward, so you kind of standardize the the steps and the movement and how you rotate. Okay, so as you get more and more used to it, then in your everyday life. 
um, it helps you balance. Um, it helps you to, you know, we sometimes we do walk around and rotate by getting the use um, used to the Tai Chi Wei movement. It does change your life in, uh, you know, how you walk, how you move, how you lift things up. Um, you be using less muscle in more relaxed way, uh, conserving energy. Um, that's why Tai Chi is uh, healthy. So, yeah, I actually have students come in with a balancing problem, and um, because they didn't know about the body shape, how to distribute the body weight, and how to align. So, um, I would say once I give them idea about where to focus, where to turn, where to lift up their arms, how to walk, um, they can see the change in just one lesson. So, uh, um, yeah, just follow um, follow the videos. I'll try to explain as much as I can um, in different ways. Uh, so, you can ask questions in my Facebook, in uh, my YouTube channel. So, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, like my Facebook page, and give me ideas about what you want to emphasize, uh, want, want me to talk about, or um, if you have any ideas that you want to share with me, then please do. Um, yeah.